It is just a beautiful place. The neighborhood near Alki Beach is the picture of serenity. Well, look at it. It's beautiful. But lately, that picture's been fractured. Right now, the criminals own the, our cities. Fractured by a spate of gun violence. They're getting younger and younger. Most recently leading to the death of a man just 22 years old. It happened just outside Gladys's home. Gladys preferred not to share her last name. And people come and sometimes they just do not know how to behave. The man was shot dead here just around 345 Saturday morning. This, even though nearby Alki Beach was supposed to be shut down at that time. Uh, there should be no park, no parking in the parallel parking area. To deter dangerous behavior like this, two years ago, the city's parks department started closing the beach an hour earlier during the summer. Uh, we have to enforce the laws that we have in the books. But Saturday's bloody scene was set against the backdrop of a city struggling to keep the peace. City Council member for the district Rob Saka said Monday, I have been in contact with the mayor's office to express my frustration and request collaboration on urgent solutions. Mm -hmm. When you hear that, what's your reaction? When is it going to start? OK, um, we have heard that before. Multiple suspects got away after this homicide, according to police, and they have not yet been found. Worth noting as well that just five weeks ago, a man in his 40s was shot and injured right here in the very same area on the northernmost tip of West Seattle. Reporting live, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.